good morning and welcome back to my part two of my golfing day out i'm having to wear an outfit today which i'm going to show you in a second once i've plaited my hair i'm wearing a top which is actually a men's golf top and then also well it's a golf t-shirt um from adidas obviously and then i'm wearing some trousers which i really really like so i'm not used to wearing golf trousers I usually wear leggings when I go and play or train. And then in terms of summer, I'll probably wear a skirt. So finding some trousers that I actually like was really nice because I'm naturally, I say I'm naturally a bit more, I've got strong legs <laughs> um, and probably a smaller waist. So finding trousers can be so difficult sometimes. Anyway, let me show you this outfit. These are the trousers. Pretty cool. And this is the t-shirt. It's just a plain t-shirt you can wear it out or in whatever you feel comfortable in and then my favorite sweater i am obsessed with this i keep telling you guys how obsessed with it i am it's just the most comfortable thing ever here we go and i'm wearing the eqts if you can see them who knew filming would be so difficult i really like them each to their own right. It's a bit nervous because I'm going to have lots of people like filming me and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm used to just doing everything with no one watching and now people are going to be watching. I'm not very good at this. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I think I'm running late. I am running late. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared, but I swear I'll never get And then into the custom fitting area where we have Andy. Oh, hello. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> we've got Piers. Morning. And then we've got Leo over here. Hello. Star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got his dad as well. You put on your bum's cheek when you get home and she'll. Well, I'm going to face. Oh, it'll be hot. Hey, Leo. Come up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not camera shy. Are you excited for today? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just using this time to get in some sneaky training for my coach. Leo's just filming at the moment with me and my golf, and I'm just going to do some practice in the meantime. I think they've just got something like 200 new items in, and I'm just going to go and show you the rails now so you can see what is coming up. At the moment, this is the ladies' section. I think they should get rid of all of this and move all that men's away. And then all of that could be women's. This guy has actually very kindly just took out all of the new ladies' range that has just come into store. So that's in addition to everything down here. Let's just have a look at some very nice summery colours here. Got some cool quarter zips here, which are quite nice. Let me just show to you. We've got some Ocean Tea t-shirts here. Actually, Ocean Tea teas are very good. I really think you should be using non-plastic teas. We've got some gilets. There's so much stuff on these rails, it's quite hard to show you. This one looks quite cute. Actually, it's another Greg Norman top. And some really lovely summery polos, and then some more Ocean Teas at the end. The EQTs these are so cool i'm actually wearing them at the moment which i showed you earlier this top's actually very nice i love the zips also have this top which feels extremely soft so all of this is prime blue obviously sustainability is a massive thing for adidas this year they're using recyclable plastics in order to create a lot of their clothing this sweater you may have seen on my instagram some more adidas stuff here these trousers which are what i'm wearing today actually I don't really wear golf trousers, but those ones I actually like. Got some ping items. Got Puma. Some more Puma. And that is the ladies section at the moment at American Golf. Just looking at the Adidas section here. So this is the men's stuff. So the most important part of this very large shoe section is obviously 
the ladies section because American Golf didn't have a ladies section when I went and looked in their monument store. And now we have a full array, which hopefully will only get bigger. And these are really good. I actually have asked one of these. I like to make sure everything's packed and clean and tidy. Obviously for the men, if you want to have a look at some of the other shoes you can get in store here. My goodness, there's so many men's trainers. But these are the Adidas men's. I've been told the Code Chaos are extremely comfortable. I haven't tried them myself, obviously, but they're meant to be very comfortable. These are the men's EQTs, which I probably would want to get in women's as well. I'll just get them in my size, to be honest with you. And the ZG21s, they've got spikes on. I just think they look really cool. They look very pro. I'm not very pro. And then we have Foot Joy, loads of hats. I look terrible in hats, so I won't be wearing any of those. And then all of the accessories you could possibly need. I actually have this chipping net myself at home. And I have a mat. I don't know if it's that mat, but a very similar mat. I also have this put out mat as well which I didn't use so much. I probably use this most and that most. And then alignment sticks. I use this all the time when filming for my coach actually. So I use these ones, which I think are the brand Fusion alignment sticks. They're only 9.99. And it basically helps me with my camera setup. I also think I should get one of them. I've seen people use them. They look quite handy. And then they have this Zen cutting green, which changes terrain level which i'll be doing with me and my golf very soon so we have the pressure foot 60 second challenge which we're all going to do shortly and you're getting this new practice but it's fast isn't it it's extremely fast wow. not as easy as it looks eh it is, isn't it? push that a little bit <laughs> all right second time around that's it now this one's in there you know when you get that feeling <laughs> I'm going to get that feeling. Oh, that was very good. I'm very impressed. Two times. I think I've had 100 goes and I've got zero in. Did you start for that one? Well, sorry, you start that one Five would be a great score. I think you can't do five. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great start. Brilliant. Oh, it's easy. Tiger. Just finished the morning session filming with um, me and my golf. So we did a little putting lesson, how to read the greens. Also did the pressure putt, spider pressure putt challenge, which was very hard. I did get very stressed whilst I was doing it. However, we got through, I got the same as Piers in the end. I was very chuffed with that. Although I think Andy absolutely beat us by 14 foot putt. It's too good, it's too good. And now I'm just about to do a video with um, the head of marketing at American Golf, just talking about like what American Golf has done over the past year and then obviously what their plans are um, for this year. And they've done some really exciting things. And what's really cool is a lot of the stuff that they have done and have achieved is pretty much all of the things I suggested in my email um, to American Golf, what, like just over a year ago now. So it's super cool to see. They're really taking on board all of the comments and they're really changing their brand as well. So this is at the moment what the Zen putting area looks like. I'm actually in the whole putting area. You can see all of these amazing putters. I have tried quite a few. We're just gonna look at the Scotty Camerons because I know you all love this type of club. I tried the blades, they were okay. I really like this style of putter, this type of style doesn't work well for me that's just personal I don't like there being too much on the edge of my putter so if I had to pick you can see there's ping putters here we've got tailor-made actually the tailor-made ones were quite good as well I did try some of those 
Odyssey. I like Odyssey, but I would have to change the grip. I much prefer the skinny grips on my putter. Just, I feel like I get more feel, but I know a lot of people who like thicker grips. And then we've got the Rife and McGregor as well. I've just stopped off at Starbucks and I thought, I haven't given you a debrief of my day. So now would be the perfect opportunity. I've just filled up with petrol and I'm mid four hour drive back down from Manchester to London to where I live. I don't even know why. I literally just bought myself an iced decaf almond milk latte. I don't know who I think I am. I don't even know why I got iced either. It's been snowing today. It's also been very sunny, but it also has been snowing. And now I've ended up with a decaf iced latte rather than like a hot decaf. I'm gonna see if it tastes any good. It tastes quite nice. Anyway, today was really good. Um, I'm quite tired, not gonna lie. So well, when we arrived, um, Leo and me and my golf did a session for juniors, which was really fun to watch. And then we moved on to the Zen um, putting green later, which is so cool. I've never experienced like a putting green like it. It's so fun. If I had a proper golf room at home, I would be getting one of those in addition to a golf simulator, obviously. Once I get a proper house, that is going to be first on my list. I hope my future husband doesn't mind. <laughs> Chipping green in the garden would be really cool. We did some putting, learning how to read greens with me and my golf, which was really actually very, very interesting. You learned some really awesome stuff from them. Then the afternoon finished off with the opportunity to speak to their head of marketing, Iemba, who is amazing. She's such a lovely lady. It was actually the first time I've ever met her. And it was just quite funny, you know, because all of the things that we spoke about, all of the things American Golf have done over the past year, I swear down was pretty much the list that I sent to Gary back in November 2019, but could have been coincidence. Could have actually been using it, my email as a tick list, who knows. But I'm just so proud and so impressed that, you know, I've actually been able to influence kind of some of the things that they've done. They're now using more female models. You know, their latest campaign actually has a female at the front of it. And it's just awesome, really. Even to see, you know, their stores have female sections. I have like a whole load of other ideas. I'm going to be sending them um, later this evening, maybe tomorrow. I'm probably going to get back quite late. I think it'll be like 8.30 when I get back. Not too late, really, actually. But yeah, it's just it's just really cool to kind of have that impact with a company that you probably never thought or would think you would have impact with. Can you believe it? It's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's hailing right now. What is up with this weather? At the end of the day, all of us just want more people to get into the game. Like my motivation for getting more people into the game is so that I can actually buy more golf stuff. I want to look cool when I'm playing. I want to be comfortable and I don't want to feel like out of place, you know. I want to feel like I belong and you know, just feel like I fit in. I don't like feeling intimidated. and I don't like feeling like I shouldn't be there. And I think a lot of people do feel that. And it's so easy to feel that, you know, especially in this day and age where there still is like segregation between ethnicity with genders. And there really doesn't need to be. And sometimes it is a case of misconceptions. And then other times it is a case of actually what can we do to Kind of make it a bit better for you know the minority groups i actually really hope that you've enjoyed my little day out vlog hopefully it's been interesting to see the kind of things we get up to obviously i couldn't film all of it partly because i'm involved in some of it and so actually i kind of forget to film um but also sometimes it's just nice to see what goes on behind the scenes because you see a video and you don't realize how much time and how much effort goes into making that video you know all of the time these content creators, these social media marketing managers put into everything they create for you and that you consume in like one second or two minutes or whatever it is, it's actually just amazing. Like it's a whole new world to me. I mean, I'm so not used to this. Um, I'm not used to kind of creating events, setting up a feeling, emotion, writing scripts, whatever it is that they do. So it's just super cool really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will catch up with you very soon, hopefully for another one, maybe on course this time, when the weather is better. I can't believe it's hailing right now. This is ridiculous.